Hey friends, this is the Miss and Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead with um, an August update. Uh, it's August 21st, 2015 and I'm doing much better. My uh, sciatica, when I did the armchair update, it was at its absolute worst. Um, I had been living with it for a couple of days. It's much, much better now. I'll always have, folks, I will always have back issues. I, my spine curves inward, pushing my belly out. And even when I was thinner or thin, let's face it, I've never really been thin. But even when I was at my fighting weight, when I was younger, my back always pushed because my spine is kind of curved. It always pushed my belly forward and made back issues where I was told back issues were going to be a problem for my entire life. I wasn't told that until I was almost 30, which was ridiculous because they could have told me that when I was much, much younger and I wouldn't have done half the jobs I did. I wouldn't have worked in a machine shop lifting pails of steel and standing on my feet on a concrete floor all day. I wouldn't have worked at, you know, an apple processing plant where I had to lift flats of apples over and over and over again while standing on a concrete floor. Those are jobs I should never have done. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Michigan Snow Pony. She sent me uh, a message telling me not to give in. And that's sometimes easier said than done. Sometimes you just have to say, okay, you know what? If I push myself any farther, I'm going to do more damage. So I took a couple of days and I'm still taking it easy but I'm doing more. I'm able to unload and load the dishwasher and sweep the floor. Thank God, because it's, it's driving me crazy. And, but I, I have to take my time. I'm doing laundry. I'm doing all those things, but any heavy lifting or repetitive bending right now, I can't do. So I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Um, I'm having a wonderful visit um, at the end of the month. My cousin from Prince Edward Island, we were, we were really close when we were kids, but she moved to Prince Edward Island. Her family moved to Prince Edward Island when we were kids, and, and we haven't seen much of each other. I've probably only seen her maybe three times in the past 25 years. So I'm really looking forward to having a visit with her. Um, she's coming up, I think, on the... 28th or 29th and she's going to stay with me for a week and she wants to learn canning which is going to be really cool hopefully i'll have some i'll, I'll find something to can you know me folks but um so don't be surprised if you see this this sweet little little lady with me in my video we're only a month apart in age so um i'm really really excited about that she's staying for a whole week i get her to myself for a whole week it's it's uh i can't tell you how verklempt just the thought of her coming makes me. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm working on that, uh, the recovering, uh, reclaiming fabric from my son's quilt from when he was a year old. And I'm not going to do the entire quilt video um, like I have been all along. I'm, go I'm going to be doing it in pieces. Tomorrow, um, I'm releasing a video just showing uh, the binding and invisible stitching because I'm doing so many quilts between now and Christmas that, well, not so many, probably two, but <clears throat> some of them are going to be refinished, some of them are going to be um, restored, that kind of thing. Some of them are going to have fabric reclaimed from them. So when I do the binding video it is a for future reference video oh god my kettle sorry about that i had put the kettle on i haven't had a hot cup of tea in like three days because it's just been so hot but today's cool it's only about 70 degrees today which is nice um so i'm gonna have a hot cup of tea now where was i right okay so <clears throat> i'm going to be breaking all of the the quilt videos to a certain degree i'm going to be breaking them down into pieces so that when i do a quilt on video i'll be able to say 
okay so this is this and now it's time for binding and then I just put the link in for the binding video so that you don't have to sit through it or if you already know how to do it and you don't need to sit through it that kind of thing so um, I've had some people asking about the rag rug <laughs> how we barricaded it in our room because he's renovating and all our boots and coats and our coat rack and everything is kind of up against it so and it's a winter project and I know I said that last winter but I mean right now that's not a that's not getting done so <clears throat> I brought home some eggs from uh, Ohio from John's place and I hatched out four little birds and I'm really hoping I get a rooster if not and if they're all hens I'll keep them um, keep them as layers and then keep one of the roosters I hatched out or if I have a rooster then I will and the three hens I will keep them and I will keep a couple of the hens from what I hatched out we don't need a lot of laying hens uh, we've only got five in production right now and I am storing well five in production Plus, I got turkeys laying eggs every day, too, almost. So I'm putting up probably a dozen and a half of eggs in lime every, you know, at least once or twice a week. I've got four big number 10 cans of eggs. And I also have four dozen oiled in the fridge. So that's, that's a lot of eggs. I'm going to have a lot of eggs for baking this winter. So anyway, um, now that I'm a little bit more mobile, I have to go and clean my kitchen. I have to unload and load the dishwasher, sweep the floor, but I thought you'd uh, like to know. You know, folks, <clears throat> putting a video out every day is a lot of work. And I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It has been the best time of my life when it comes to communications. I'm having a blast. But putting out a video every day is a lot of work. And it's not just about the work it's about the quality of the video I'm going to be taking some of my older videos and unlisting them and redoing them things like um, basic bread for beginners and and things like that but you know I'm running out of ideas <laughs> I'm running out of stuff to do that you haven't already seen me do okay so you know I, I hope you'll be you know patient with me if I'm down to two or three videos a week um, sometimes maybe only one video a week okay but I hope they're worth waiting for anyway this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead with an August 2015 update take care bye bye <music>